Yeah. What's your second question? Uh, the president has blamed Republicans for doing everything in their power to block uh, the student loan forgiveness program, but this was ultimately the Supreme Court's decision. Why the blame on Republicans? Well, the Republicans, during the budget negotiations, as you all know, they tried to strip, they tried to take away, that was something that they wanted to put on the chopping box, was the student debt relief. They were very clear about that. And so what the president did was protect it. And that was something that he fought just a couple months ago. And he's been fighting for this since uh, he announced the student, the student debt relief plan. So, you know, that's just the fact. That's what we had to fight for. Now, we do think the Supreme Court got it wrong, and it is unfortunate, which is why we came up with a plan B, and we're going to execute on that plan. Thanks. Question about the racial wealth gap and the burden of student loan debt on um African-Americans, especially black women. Um, the United Negro College Fund is asking for the Pell Grants to be doubled because students at historically black colleges and universities <coughs> qualify for that. Uh, nearly, nearly three out of four of them qualify for that. Is this something the administration is willing to push Congress to do? And so what the, one of the things that the president did very early on is to expand the Pell Grant, uh, and uh, especially for African-American communities. This is something we understand. The the uh, the inequalities, right, that we see uh, in the in this country that still exist. The president talked about that in his uh, remarks on affirmative action. This is a real thing that communities have to deal with. And so this is a president. Everything that he has done, every policy, especially as we, we talk about the economy, at the center of that has always been equity, always been equality. How do you view this as a whole? How big a setback is this to the president's agenda? I mean, look, the president has been really clear. You heard from the secretary. You heard from the president. We're going to continue to fight. Uh, we think the Supreme Court got it wrong. Uh, we've been very clear about that. Uh, this is, you know, when you think more broadly about um, especially student loan, uh, the student debt relief and what the president put forward, this is part of a little bit of what uh, Barat was talking about. This is part of Biden Bidenomics, right? This is part of what the president has been trying to do for the last two years, which is give the American people a little bit more relief. And you see that it has worked. We think the Inflation Reduction Act and the student debt relief is all part of that. And it is unfortunate that Republicans think the, that, that, that they don't need relief. Uh, on yesterday's uh, the president comments that this is not a normal court. Mm -hmm. Does he have any solution for that? What is uh, what can he do? So look, um, one of the things that the president has done since the beginning of this administration is make sure that he put nominees forward in the judicial, when you think about judicial level, right, the federal court, that are that is diverse. He's gotten 136 uh, people through, nominees through, and we're talking about uh, diverse candidate that reflect, and you hear, you hear this over and over from us, right, we want an administration that includes the court that looks like America. And that's what this president has done. And I think that's an action that he has been very deliberate about, uh, very, very methodical about, so that we can have a court system that is reflective, a court system that is fair, a court system that is diverse. Uh, and so that is an action that he has taken, again, almost from day one. The court really has to speak. So if, this, if the Supreme Court doesn't reflect the views of the American people, like Biden has said, should he be embracing a proposal to change the court? Uh, I know people have asked about expanding the court. He's been very clear. That's not something that he wants to do uh, as it relates to that. Look, the president is, is certainly has made himself very clear uh, about how he sees these court decisions. And the, re the reason why he said that is it's pretty clear. You know, uh, don't have anything beyond what the president said yesterday uh, and what he has said many times about when he's been asked directly about uh, the court. Uh, but it's, you know, I'll lay it out for the American people and they can see themselves and, and make their decisions for themselves.